Till now we have completed series series and parallel parallel interconnections of two port networks and this means we are well familiar with the concepts of series connection and parallel connection in case of two port networks and uh, now we are going to have discussion on series parallel interconnection of two port networks and uh, this means we are going to have the input ports of two or more two port networks connected in series combination and the output ports connected in parallel combination. Now in order to develop the basic understanding I have taken two two port networks and A and and B and uh, when you focus on the input ports of the two networks you will find they are in series combination. You can see that current I1 is equal to I1A, current I1 is equal to current I1A and also it is equal to current I1B, it is equal to current I1B and when you apply KVL in this loop you will find V1 minus V1A minus V1B is equal to 0. So we can say that V1 is equal to V1A plus V1B and uh, let's say this is our equation number 1. Now from these two results we can conclude that input port of first network is in series with the input port of second network because I1A is equal to I1B that is the input current of the first network is equal to the input current of the second network and the input voltages are getting added and uh, we know these are the properties of series combination. Now when we focus on the output ports of the two networks we will find that they are connected in parallel combination. Voltage V2 is equal to V2A. Voltage V2 is equal to voltage V2A and also it is equal to V2B. It is equal to V2B and uh, when you focus on this particular node you will find current I2 is getting divided into I2A and I2B. So applying KCL we can say that current I2 is equal to the sum of current I2A and current I to B. Let's say this is our equation number 2. Now when you observe you will find voltage across output ports are same. V2A is equal to V2B and also the current is getting divided and we know these are the properties of parallel combination and therefore we can say that the output ports are in parallel combination and hence the overall combination or you can say the interconnection is series parallel interconnection. And uh, now we will have the matrix form of equation 1 and equation 2. We will have one 2 by 1 matrix with the elements V1 and I2. Voltage V1 and I2 are the two elements of this 2 by 1 matrix and it will be equal to the sum of two two by one matrices and the first two by one matrix will have the elements V1A and I2A. V1A and current I2A and the second matrix will have the elements V1B and I2B. Voltage V1B and current I2B. Now if you have followed the lectures on H parameters you will understand that we can write this matrix equal to the product of H parameters matrix of network NA and the 2 by 1 matrix having the elements I1A and V2A. Similarly we can write this matrix equal to the product of H parameters matrix of network NB and 2 by 1 matrix having the elements I1B and V2B. So in the next step we will have 2 by 1 matrix with elements V1 
and i2 equal to h parameters matrix of network n a multiplied to 2 by 1 matrix having the elements i 1 a and v 2 a plus the h parameters matrix of network n b multiplied to 2 by 1 matrix having the elements i 1 b and voltage v 2 b and from here you can see that i 1a and i 1b both are equal to i 1 so we can write i 1 in place of i 1a and we can write i 1 in place of i 1b and v 2a is equal to v 2 and v 2b is also equal to v 2 so v 2a can be replaced by v 2 and v 2b can also be replaced by v 2 so we can take this matrix common and therefore we will have 2 by 1 matrix with v1 and i2 as the two elements equal to the sum of h parameters matrix of network na and h parameters matrix of network nb multiplied to 2 by 1 matrix having the elements i1 and v2 and this is the matrix form of the two equations we will have for the overall network and therefore we can conclude that matrix h a plus matrix h b will be equal to the h parameters matrix of the overall network so this is our final result h parameters matrix of network n a plus h parameters matrix of network n b will give us the h parameters matrix of the overall network and if we connect n two port networks in series parallel interconnection then the larger network will have the h parameters matrix equal to the h parameters matrix of first network plus the h parameters matrix of the second network all the way to h parameters matrix of the nth network so this is all for this lecture if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section